So ever since the recent release of the Panasonic GH6, I've seen a lot of filmmakers and camera reviewers on this website sort of backhanded complimenting this camera and its sensor. Like, pretty good for a micro four thirds camera, or great for a dying format, or, you know, likely the last good micro four thirds camera. So as a Micro Four Thirds user, I'd like to take a moment to praise the format that most people scoff at who don't use it. First off is the size. I mean, given the size of these sensors, the camera bodies can be smaller and specifically the lenses can be smaller and a lot cheaper. Or for example, this Micro Four Thirds pancake lens. I mean, look at the size of this thing. You could literally make a pocket camera with this, given the fact that the sensor area is so small, you can adapt virtually any type of lens from any type of camera system onto these cameras, no problem. Another big thing with these cameras, and again, specifically lenses, is the cost. You can get some amazing crop sensor lenses for really cheap, and given the size and form factor of them, you can get much better ranges and faster lenses for a lot cheaper. For example, the 70 to 300 millimeter lens, and I got it for 75 bucks. I mean, it's not the best lens ever, but it gets the job done. And that'll probably the biggest reason why I love Micro Ford's cameras is the ability to speed boost. Now, I know a lot of people don't enjoy using speed boosters and for valid reasons, but I personally love using them and here's a couple reasons why. First of all, I love all my EF crop sensored lenses. You can use them on ES APS-C size mounts and I also use them speed boosted on my Micro Four Thirds cameras. And using a speed booster on a Micro Four Thirds camera actually gives you a wider, brighter, and more shallow field of view than APS-C size sensors. So yeah, if you consider these three sensor sizes to be the standard, then that moves the smallest and cheapest, in theory, sensor into the next biggest size behind full-frame cameras. And one of the most underrated benefits of using a speed booster is that the sensor is protected. I've seen so many videos online recently, GH6 reviews included, where there's dust on the physical camera sensor blocking light from entering the frame. Well. That doesn't happen if every time you switch lenses, there's still glass protecting the sensor. Also, image stabilization is crazy on Micro Four Thirds cameras. Because the sensor is smaller, it has less vertical and horizontal movement to make up for when it's being stabilized. None of my Micro Four Thirds cameras have stabilization, so I can't really prove this, but GH5, GH6, I mean, great job. Plus there's big benefits to having a square sensor over a 16 by nine sensor. Like for example, on the GH6, the open gate readout. I mean, just having more vertical information can be a huge help even when shooting 16 by nine, given now that you have vertical up and down movement to reframe your shots or de-squeeze anamorphic in camera. Now I wanna attack some criticism. Micro Four Thirds isn't wide enough. Well, this is 11 millimeters on a speed booster, which is wider than an APS-C size camera could get, and I'm within an arm's reach away, so I truly feel like this is plenty wide. Not high enough dynamic range. Here's a shot going inside in the dark to outside during broad daylight, and you can see pretty much everything. Micro Four Thirds isn't high enough quality. Well, this was shot on an eight-year-old Micro Four Thirds camera. Eight years old. You be the judge if this is good enough or not. The, uh, the lighting here keeps changing a lot, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Now, I know this has been a video that's sort of in praise of speed boosters and not so much micro Four Thirds cameras. And speed boosters have their issues. I mean, depending on which ones you get, you could lose ability to have decent autofocus or parafocal zooming. But the point I'm trying to make here is whether or not you think crop sensor cameras are dying out of production, I truly believe there is a fantastic place in the market for them. I know full frame is all the rage and it's super easy to get bokeh and low light in camera, but they are insanely overpriced, lenses included. And crop sensor camera lenses have insane specs for very little cost, including my favorite lens of all time, the Sigma 18 to 35. And I know it's camera company's goal to render our current lenses useless, so we have to buy more shit, but 
I mean, most movies are shot in Super 35 millimeter, so give us professional features in a Micro Four Thirds or APS-C size camera. I really don't know why Canon doesn't make an R5 type camera with an APS-C size sensor that we can adapt our EF lenses to. I mean, that would make a killing, you know? Something like the sensor and features of a C70 in a mirrorless sized body. I mean, at this point, our only hope for something like that, I feel like, is the Fuji X-T5, but who knows? I mean, I'm just kind of ranting at this point. But I would just really love it if, you know, all of us filmmakers and photographers went and reclaim these formats and appreciate them for what they have to offer and not let camera companies phase them out and make us think that we need more. Give us options. Bring professional features to every sensor size. We know what they're capable of.